Hey there, science fans. Bill Nye here. And today, we're diving into the fascinating world of solar energy. Specifically, we're going to explore how photovoltaic, or PV, energy conversion turns sunlight directly into electricity. It's like magic, but with science. Imagine harnessing the power of the sun to light up your home, charge your devices, and even power entire cities. That's the incredible potential of photovoltaic energy conversion. So buckle up as we embark on this electrifying journey. Get ready to discover the secrets behind turning sunlight into clean, renewable energy. Let's get started. The key to understanding photovoltaic energy conversion lies in a phenomenon called the photovoltaic effect. Sounds complicated? Don't worry, it's actually quite simple. Picture this. When sunlight, which is made up of tiny packets of energy called photons, hits a photovoltaic cell, something amazing happens. These photons knock loose electrons in the cell's material, usually silicon. Now these energized electrons are free to move around creating an electrical current. It's like a tiny solar-powered game of electron pinball. This flow of electrons is what we call electricity. Pretty cool, right? The real heroes of our solar energy story are solar cells, also known as photovoltaic cells. These tiny powerhouses are the fundamental building blocks of solar technology, silently working to harness the sun's energy and convert it into usable electricity. Without them, the concept of solar power would remain just a dream. These ingenious devices are the workhorses that convert sunlight into electricity. They are designed to be efficient and durable, ensuring that we can rely on them for years to come. Each solar cell is a marvel of modern engineering, meticulously crafted to capture the maximum amount of sunlight and transform it into electrical energy. Think of a solar cell as a sandwich made with special materials. This sandwich structure is crucial for its function. The layers are carefully chosen and arranged to optimize the conversion process. The top layer is designed to absorb sunlight, while the bottom layer helps to conduct the generated electricity. The most common material is silicon, a semiconductor. Silicon is abundant and has the perfect properties for this job. It can absorb sunlight and release electrons, which are the carriers of electrical current. The production process involves slicing silicon into thin wafers, which are then treated to enhance their efficiency. When sunlight hits the cell, it penetrates the layers of this sandwich and sets those electrons free, creating an electrical current. This process is known as the photovoltaic effect. The freed electrons move through the material, generating a flow of electricity that can be harnessed for various uses. These cells are then connected together in a solar panel to produce a usable amount of electricity. A single solar cell generates a small amount of power, but when combined in a panel, their collective output is significant. This modular approach allows for scalability making it possible to generate electricity for anything from a small gadget to an entire home. The more solar panels you have, the more electricity you can generate. This scalability is one of the greatest advantages of solar technology. By installing more panels, you can increase your energy production to meet growing demands. Whether it's for residential, commercial or industrial use, solar panels offer a flexible and sustainable solution for our energy needs. Section 4. Types of solar cells mono, poly and thin film. Just like there are different types of cars, there are also different types of solar cells, each with its own unique characteristics and efficiency levels. Understanding these differences is crucial for making an informed decision when it comes to choosing the right solar technology for your needs. Whether you're looking to power a small device or an entire home, the type of solar cell you choose can make a significant difference in performance and cost. Let's meet the main players in the solar cell arena. Each type has its own strengths and weaknesses, and knowing these can help you decide which one is best suited for your specific application. First up, we have monocrystalline solar cells, the high achievers of the solar world. These cells are known for their sleek, black appearance and high efficiency rates, making them a popular choice for residential and commercial installations. 
Made from a single pure silicon crystal, they boast the highest efficiency rates among the three types. This means they can convert more sunlight into electricity compared to other types, which is particularly beneficial in areas with limited space for solar panels. Then there are polycrystalline solar cells made from multiple silicon fragments. These cells have a bluish hue and are generally less expensive to produce than monocrystalline cells. They're a bit less efficient but more affordable, making them a cost-effective option for larger installations where space is not a constraint. While they may not convert as much sunlight into electricity as monocrystalline cells, their lower cost can make them an attractive option for budget-conscious consumers. And finally, we have thin-film solar cells, the lightweight and flexible option. These cells are made by depositing thin layers of photovoltaic material onto a substrate, like glass, plastic or metal. They're made by depositing thin layers of photovoltaic material onto a substrate like glass or plastic. This makes them incredibly versatile and suitable for a variety of applications, including portable solar chargers and building integrated photovoltaics. Each type has its pros and cons, and the best choice for a particular application depends on factors like cost, efficiency requirements and available space. Monocrystalline cells are ideal for high efficiency needs in limited spaces. Polycrystalline cells offer a balance between cost and efficiency. And thin film cells provide flexibility and lightweight options for unique applications. By understanding these differences, you can make a more informed decision and choose the solar technology that best meets your needs. Section 5. Efficiency matters getting the most out of sunlight. Not all solar cells are created equal when it comes to converting sunlight into electricity. The type of material used in the solar cell plays a crucial role in determining its efficiency. Monocrystalline cells, for instance, are known for their high efficiency and longevity. They are made from a single continuous crystal structure, which allows electrons to move more freely and thus generate more electricity. Polycrystalline cells, on the other hand, are made from multiple silicon crystals and are generally less efficient but more cost-effective. Thin film solar cells are the least efficient but are lightweight and flexible, making them suitable for a variety of applications. Some are more efficient than others, meaning they can convert a higher percentage of sunlight into usable energy. This efficiency is measured by the percentage of sunlight that the solar cell can convert into electricity. For example, monocrystalline cells can achieve efficiencies of over 20%, while polycrystalline cells typically range between 15 to 20%. Thin film cells usually have efficiencies below 15%. The higher the efficiency, the more electricity you can generate from the same amount of sunlight. The efficiency of a solar cell depends on several factors, including the type of material used, the cell's design, and even the amount of sunlight put on the cell at a particular time of day. The angle at which sunlight strikes the solar cell can significantly impact its efficiency. Solar panels are often installed at an angle to maximize exposure to sunlight throughout the day. Additionally, the design of the solar cell, including the arrangement of its layers, and the quality of its components can also affect its performance. Scientists and engineers are constantly working to improve the efficiency of solar cells, squeezing every last drop of power from the sun's rays. Research and development in this field focus on creating new materials and designs that can capture more sunlight and convert it into electricity more efficiently. Innovations such as multi-junction cells, which use multiple layers of different materials to capture a broader spectrum of sunlight, are pushing the boundaries of what is possible. These advancements not only increase the efficiency of solar cells, but also reduce the cost of solar energy, making it more accessible to everyone. The higher the efficiency, the less solar panels you need, and the more energy you can generate. This is particularly important for applications where space is limited, such as on rooftops or in urban environments. By using more efficient solar panels, you can generate the same amount of electricity with fewer panels, saving space and reducing installation costs. 
Moreover, higher efficiency panels can also contribute to a more sustainable future by reducing the amount of materials needed for production and minimizing the environmental impact of solar energy systems. In summary, understanding and improving the efficiency of solar cells is key to maximizing the benefits of solar energy and making it a viable alternative to traditional energy sources.